Tap, Ralph from Ridgeview Liquor is here, and also joining us, Bill from Hinterland Brewery. Big, big things you guys have going on. You got to tell us, you got a new beer coming out, right? Two of them. Uh, two. All right, what two, do you got? Two fantastic new beers. So first off, we have our uh, Berliner Weiss, which is kind of a really uh, rare style of beer, um, German style of beer. Actually, both of these are German style beers, mm -hmm. but um, this one is actually uh, kind of interesting because it's very tart and it's very also uh, low alcohol as well, so like 3.5% oh. alcohol by volume. Mm -hmm. um, but it's got a, a, a great acidity to it, so it makes it uh, really nice to pair with food. Yeah. Um, but it uses a special uh, strain of lactobacillus bacteria to, to create that tartness in it, mm -hmm. so it's much like yogurt. Oh. Um, same type of thing like that, but mm -hmm. uh, the beer ferments with lactobacillus and then actually with brewer's yeast as well and, and so it creates some nice acidity and, and, and uh, just an easy drink in summer beer. So. And tell, and tell us about the Hefe too because that's a style you've done before. It is. We brought it back after maybe like eight years mm -hmm. uh, in retirement. Popular uh, demand I'm guessing. Yeah, it's just kind of one of those uh, oldie but a goodie type mm -hmm. of uh, yeah. beers but it, but it basically is uh, uh, a German wheat beer with uh, the yeast left in it mm -hmm. so it's a little bit cloudy. Uh, has kind of a banana and clove-like character to okay. it, um, and that's uh, d a direct uh, stamp from the yeast, basically, that we use to ferment it as well. So really nice, refreshing summer beer. Summer beer, another thing that's yep. always great to Two ask. of my favorite styles of beer. Mm -hmm. The Hefe has that nice banana clove spiciness, and mm -hmm. again, low in alcohol, Yeah, and they're just great for sitting on the deck and having a beer. That's the best thing about those summertime beers. A lot of people also know that you guys are expanding. You guys oh, yeah. are moving. Tell us about this this new development. So construction's underway. The building, uh, the framing is pretty much mm -hmm. up uh, as of this week. Uh, the, the, the steel structure will be 100% in place. Um, lots of masonry work going mm -hmm. on. Um, and we're just driving towards a, a basically like an April opening. And uh, so the building's really coming a long way over the last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. but uh, every week that goes by, we'll, you know, in a couple of weeks we'll be putting the roof on, so a lot of stuff happening there. And you guys started 20 years ago. Yeah, More 21. than that, yeah, did you guys ever expect that you would be right across the street from Lambeau Field in this beautiful expansion project? Steve's Cheese Road. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's where you guys started. Yeah, that's where we started. I mean, it, it's, it is a bit surreal to kind of look back mm -hmm. at, at, at the progress and what we've accomplished, I guess, but, but it's... Um, it's pretty amazing, really. I mean, we're so excited about this move and, and the new location and being close to these guys. Will, yeah. will That's right. Yeah. You got a little too, craft so. beer row going on down yeah. there. If you don't know where you're at, you got to check them out. Yeah. We're really excited to see what you guys are doing. Thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, for more you. information about Hinterland and all those really cool things that are happening, just visit our website, click on this story. Today's take is coming up next with Charlie.